Amanda! Yanny! Okay. <laughs> book club for June. My book is Lovers at the Chameleon Club, Paris 1932 by Francine Prose. I, as you know, am obsessed with historical fiction and read it all of the time. Absolutely true. So... <laughs> It, it was an NPR best book. It's a New York Times notable book, book list and Kirker starred reviews. It is crazy good. Um, and there are five different people telling their stories, but all of their stories center around this one character, Lou Villar. And in the 20s, she's really sort of working at this chameleon club, which is um, a cabaret kind of a club. Um, so she is a lesbian and a cross-dresser and a server at the chameleon club, which, you know, in typical wonderful cabaret fashion, has a whole host of crazy characters. <laughs> she works at the chameleon club, then she becomes this famous race car driver. Race car driver. Yeah, which is crazy. Um, and then she falls out of favor. She falls in love with this German woman, and then by the end of the life, she, her life, she was a spy for the Nazis. So it's this incredible trajectory of a life. It was just a really quick moving story from all these different perspectives. It's just such an excellent, excellent read. So much to talk about. I yes. want to talk about Elizabeth is Missing. Oh, you love that book. Which I've been waiting for this to come out in paperback so I could talk about it for like forever. forever. So this book is about a woman named Maud, and she is, um, she's older. She's, she's grandmother-ish age. But um, she, she's kind of losing her memory. One day, you know, she gets up and she is just convinced that her friend Elizabeth has gone missing and it's her job to, to find her. She has to leave herself all of these little post-it notes to like remind her of little clues, but she doesn't remember what the post-it notes mean. So I really, I really enjoyed the book for the mystery element because where is Elizabeth, mm -hmm. you know? Is, is she actually missing or is she not? All while she's kind of falling further and further into men, into dementia, and it was just so sad. Aww. But it's so good. Well, so excellent. good. <laughs> it was the best book of 2014 by the the Wall Street Journal. It also won the 2014 Costa First Novel Award. Great. And uh, got a book list star review. They called it altogether brilliant. Magic. Which I couldn't agree more. Cool. Sounds good. Some excellent choices this month. June. Yeah, agreed.